Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Ian Sepperman. I'm the co-founder at Appster HQ. We've spent about two and a half years working hard on consumer app discovery, helping users find the best mobile apps. Uh, and recently we've started helping developers uh, promote their apps and get more app distribution. Uh, we've specifically been doing that with a product that we're calling App Store Optimization. It's a little bit like SEO for apps, getting ranked higher within iTunes or Android Market. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, keywords, and specifically keywords in iTunes. They don't really exist in Android Market. Um, but keywords are a little bit of a black box, and I want to make sure that everybody gets the most out of them that they can possibly get. So, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is how keywords will affect your search rankings. So, in iTunes, there's only three different things that affect your search rankings. The first one is your app name, the second one is your developer name, and the third one are your keywords. So description, reviews, none of that actually matters according to Apple. So when we're talking about keywords, uh, we first want to understand how long they can be. So the length of a keyword can, uh, the length of your entire amount of keywords can only be 100 characters. So that's less than a tweet, right? So we have to be very cautious about where we're spending our time and resources on keywords. Uh, the second thing that we want to talk about is commas versus spaces. So when length matters, we have to understand should we, where should we spend our, our characters? And so the first option that we could do if we have two keywords that we care about, foo and bar, is we could have foo space bar. The second option we could do is foo comma space bar, and the third option would be foo comma bar. So in the first option, foo space bar is bad because Apple won't necessarily know if this is one keyword that is just foobar and you want to only rank for the search term foobar, the second keyword, um, or if it's two keywords that you care about, which is foo and bar, the second one is bad because, well, you're making it more explicit that this is foo and bar, you now have a, a wasted space in the middle here where you could have an extra character and going forward with many different keywords that could actually add up. So the third one is what you want. So the third one is foo comma bar. And that allows you as a developer to use the least amount of, have the least amount of wasted space and, um, and also rank for both foo and bar. And Apple will be smart enough to also rank you then for foo bar. Uh, so the next one is, the next thing I want to talk about is around a specific keyword. So in this case, let's talk about foo. So a big thing that's interesting to note is that Apple does a really poor job of understanding uh, stemming and plurals versus singulars, right? So if I have foo, I may or may not uh, rank for foo, but I certainly won't rank for foos. But if I have foo comma foos, now I will explicitly rank for both foo and foos. So whenever you have the ability, given the length restraints, you really do want to have both singular and plural within your keywords. If you don't have the ability because of length, I highly suggest going with the plural because from experimentation that actually seems to lead to the singular more frequently than the singular will lead to the uh, plural. But it's still pretty hit or miss and you really do want both if you can, if you can help it. Uh, so that is a very quick intro to keywords, and what I just want to let you guys know is that we're working on this new App Store optimization tool, which you can reach at mobiledevhq.com slash ASO, and uh, in, that, in that product we'll have a keyword verifier tool where you can copy paste your keywords from iTunes, and we'll tell you exactly where you're, uh, where you're doing things wrong and what you could be doing better in order to make the most use out of your keywords. Thank you.